There's an alligator right there. Whoa, 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 look right here. It's forming right here. What is this? It's gonna hit us. <laughs> Welcome my friends. Today is gonna be a very exciting expedition. We're gonna be scuba diving deep in the dark water behind me for Pleistocene age vertebrate fossils between 2.6 million and 11,700 years old. It's gonna be a great time. This is my absolute favorite place on earth, a place that I've been exploring all of my life, have some excellent locations out here. Today, we're gonna take you guys underwater with us and we're gonna find some unbelievable prehistoric treasures. I also have Brie here with me today who will obviously find all the best stuff because she always <laughs> does. <laughs> all right, on up here. This beautiful little piece of property was actually just purchased by a friend of mine and we've been poking around a little bit, checking it out. There's an uprooted tree right here and there's a strange material down there. Let's take a closer look at that. So this material here, this is a shell marl, fresh water, from the Pleistocene. So everything you're looking at here, these are all fossils. And look at how beautiful and well-preserved this one is right here. So because these species are freshwater, that tells us that there was standing or flowing freshwater here in the Pleistocene. And that's exactly what would bring in things like mammoths and saber cats. So it's a great sign that we're in the right location. I actually know from spending a lot of time in this river that this species is still alive out there in quite high numbers. So we'll keep this one, we'll keep that one, and look, there's another species right here. There we go. So we can actually get an ID on all these different types as well. I don't know if you guys can see that down there. I'm gonna try to pick up this little rock and hope it doesn't come off. Okay, there we go. Look at the size of that. It just fell into oh. my hand. That is unbelievably small. We may sift some of this material sometime and do some micro fossil hunting with a microscope out here. So that'd be pretty cool. I bet there's a lot of other species in here that we can't even see with the naked eye. Bree just picked up right here in this little layer. These are polygyra land snails. So that tells us there's a freshwater environment here very close to land. So that's a great sign for vertebrate fossils too. And this is where the vertebrate material up in the woods preserves. Check this out. Right here in this dirt, that is a fossil fish vertebra right there. So, oh, it broke a little bit. It's a bit fragile, but we'll take it out. We'll put that over here with all these other fossils. You can see it's just some little random odds and ends. Turtle, tortoise, there's actually a, where did it go? Um, a rabbit tooth right there, rodent, uh, all kinds of cool little fossils. So if you can think about this river, let me set down these fossils here. This river, all rivers really are like sediment movement highways and it carves away the sediment as the water flows 24 hours a day and it leaves the fossils deposited. So while the fossils aren't unbelievably concentrated up here in the river, there's been tens of thousands, maybe millions of years of the sand being peeled away from the fossil layer. So right here in this exposed dirt, it looks like a little musk turtle fossil. And then right over here, where is it Brie? Right. Look, and there it is. There's another one right there. So it could be to the same musk turtle or maybe different ones, but little Pleistocene bones already and we're not even on the water yet. Look at that strong lady carrying that scuba tank right there. <laughs> Bree was just loading up the canoe and I walked over here and noticed a little bit of dirt exposed and it's actually pretty interesting right off the bat. That is a fossil. That is some turtle shell right there. And then this is some type of gastropod or snail that I, oh, it's a land, a big, big land snail of some sort, I believe. And Brie got more turtle shell right there. I just picked this out right here. Now that is an Eocene aged echinoid. So it's like a little sea urchin fossil. This is so much older than all the other fossils here. This is from when this entire area was an ocean. As far up as you can see, there were whales swimming around at one time. So this stuff underlies all the other fossils. If you go way below it in the sediment, you get into just solid limestone from oceans. All right, so there was a fire right here and there's some type of mold that's pink growing. I, I've never seen that stuff before. It's super pink. 
So here are our dive lights. We have tons of extra batteries. We have wide angle lights, which are better for video, and then narrow angle there that we'll use to navigate and all that. So we're super prepared, and I didn't mention before, but it's actually getting pretty late in the day. So um, we're gonna be diving at night, and uh, that's when the gators come out. So yeah, we'll see. <laughs> all right, so we got the gear loaded up. I'm walking to the back. That's my seat right there. All right, we're in, and here we go. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> we got some kind of mushrooms right here. That's kind of cool. Now, that rock right there, that's the limestone that I was talking about that's the old ocean floor, and that's the stuff that those uh, echinoids, like that sea urchin that I found earlier, that's where that comes out of. The vertebrate fossils tend to stay on top of that stuff. We're gonna cruise right over this bank and check it out. Look at that last bit of sunlight. I love that, just as the sun goes down, it starts casting that shadow down low. It's pretty difficult for me to get the full tree in the frame right here. That's a bald cypress tree and it's a monster. It is ridiculous. It's one of my favorite trees of all time, I think, that type of tree. That's what these things are. They're called cypress knees and they grow off of the roots of the trees. Look at that big fat turkey sitting in the tree. Oh, there's another one up there. Two turkeys. That, three turkeys. <laughs> they think they're eagles. Look at that beautiful white-tailed deer right there. Bye, buddy. We'll see ya. Here in about 20 minutes, we're gonna start seeing bats flying around, and hopefully uh, we can shine a flashlight so you guys can see them too. Look how clear this water is. It's because there's a freshwater spring right up here that we're gonna check out here in a second. We just parked right here, and I'm about to bring you guys in that little hole right there. That is a freshwater spring pumping water out of an underground cave. It looks a little shallower than it is. That's probably chest deep right there, and that's way over my head down in that hole that we're about to go in. I want you guys to listen for a second. Almost nothing but the sound of the river. A mullet jumping out of the water over there, some crickets and other bugs. We'll start hearing frogs pretty soon, I'm pretty, pretty certain, but it's beautiful on the river at this time. I'm just sitting here relaxing and procrastinating on getting in that freezing water, but I told you guys I was gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Let's go. <laughs> I told you guys the bats were gonna show up. I just got through recording that last clip and I looked down and there's a bat flying over the water right here. He's flying all over. Oh my god. Don't land on me, buddy. That's so cool. Oh, and there goes Great Egret. Well, it's officially night. You can see the little crescent moon up there and a beautiful reflection on the water right there. All right, time to hop in. I've said that 20 times. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I didn't want to put on my wetsuit because we have a bit of a canoe ride to get to the first fossil spot. So here we are, just going for it. Flashlight right here. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bunch of mullet right here, guys. Watch. That was so cool. There's the spring right there. Let's walk to the edge. I got a spare light right here. I'm gonna toss it in there and see what it looks like. Here we go. Oh, there's steam coming out of the, off the water right here. You guys see that?
So the water is coming out of the ground right there. Look at that steam. That's my breath, watch guys. I can see my breath. I'm not joking guys, it's kind of cold. How you doing over there, Bree? <laughs> I'm cold too. Holy cow. All right. That's a cool swim, but it's uh, you ready to get moving, Bree? Yeah. Oh, it's cold up here. It's colder up here than it is in the water. <laughs> I'm, uh, that was a fun swim, but I'm glad to be out of the water. I'm gonna put on dry clothes, warm clothes, and uh, we're gonna paddle to the fossil spot. This is crazy. I like crazy things. This is fun so far. <laughs> All right, I am dressed once again. Gonna try not to fall out of this old canoe. And we are on our way. We gotta put on our little light here. Where is it? There it is. All right, onward. Yes, on the water once again, instead of in the water, but soon to be in the water. <laughs> I don't know. Alligator eyes shine pretty good. Well, look at the steam on the water everywhere. That's cool. That's cool, but it's a sign that we're crazy. <laughs> this is cold. Oh, this is so cool. <sighs> See that shine right there, guys? That's an alligator. Move it. Oh, he just went underwater. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know. Dude, you were just I, about to pull I don't know how. I don't know how big it was. Dang! Oh my God. What did he do? He he dipped into the water. He spl I heard a splash and there was a bat in the water right here. He got a little drink. Guys, we just saw something right here, huge, and it splashed the water so hard. I don't know what it was, but it was big, big, big. Oh, there it is right there. It's a beaver, that's not an otter. Oh my gosh, it scared me so bad. It's slapping with its tail. Oh my gosh, I've never actually seen that before. That's my first time filming a Florida beaver. We keep hearing chewing sounds coming from up in the woods. There must be a whole bunch of them right here. Perhaps making like a little lodge or something right here. Maybe in that stuff. But we're gonna leave them be and um, not dive right here. I don't know, those things are big and scary. <laughs> Oh, a bat! Oh my gosh, a bat just buzzed me! Look at these cool great egrets in the tree. Probably just roosting for the night. Alright. Oh! <laughs> Hello there. You're like, uh, I thought you guys leave at night. Oh, and bats all in front of me. <laughs> I love it at night. Sorry if I'm shaking the camera, I'm still cold. Look at that. What is it? Oh yeah, those little vortex things. I've seen this one time before, guys. Look, it's forming right there. It's like a little tornado. Watch it. Here we go. It's doing it. There it goes. We'll get a good one soon. <laughs> We got circular rotation. Do it. Yes. It's happening. Yeah. 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 There we go. Best one yet. Oh. Keep going. Oh, it's losing it. He's got other ones. He's got two neighbors. We got we got a tornado right here, guys. It's fog nado. <laughs> Whoa. That's so cool. Look at that. <laughs> wow, Bree, that's <laughs> that's so cool. Oh, there's another one. Look, look, it got really, oh, it got really skinny. <laughs> I don't know what you would even call these. Like, yeah, I don't know. What is this phenomenon called? Yes, if anyone knows what's happening here, let us know in the comments below because it's one. pretty, pretty wild <laughs> what we're looking at. Whoa, I almost fell into the water. What? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez, it's way up there, and then we cut it off. We killed it. We killed it. There's like 30. <laughs> okay, there were two, but still. That's the same thing. <laughs> Whoa, look at it. It's still going. I could watch this for hours. I mean, this is this is so oh, fun. Wow. Whoa, look at him now. Whoa, man. Oh, that one goes really 
Whoa! <laughs> I'm flipping out. Look at it sucking all the stuff towards it. Yeah, look at it. It's so cool. Wow. Like, and it looks. They're Hurricane Fog Ah. All right, we're gonna get the full formation of this one right here beside us. She's she's building power. She's getting stronger. Oh here it goes. Oh, it ran into us. Oh, all that anticipation for nothing. There's a little one. Oh, it actually is getting better organized. Oh my gosh. Wow. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, it's forming. It's oh forming like God, crazy. It's getting really tall. Wow, how tall is it? Uh, at least four or five feet. Okay, that's that really feet. cool. Oh my I can't, I can't get it in the frame. <laughs> it's going away. Without like the bats flying. <laughs> oh, there's a huge one forming behind Whoa, me. Whoa, is there? Yeah. Whoa! Oh my God. What? The owls are going crazy behind me oh too. Oh my god! Um, huge. What? What? What is happening? I can't get it all what? in the frame. Bree? Yeah. What am I looking at right now? I think we're gonna get swept away. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! It's huge. Oh my god! It's just growing. Um. Here, you got the light on it, Bree. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Oh Wait, is it dissipating? I can't tell. It might be. I think it's dissipating. Oh. Whoa, it's gone. Wait. It's Wait. Again. Wait. Is it coming back? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. It's it's Whoa. Whoa. Good. Come on. Whoa. Everything's starting to swirl. Whoa. Whoa. This is gonna flip over the canoe. Oh <laughs> Look at this. Gosh. Oh, did you see it collapse? Whoa. So cool. Whoa. Oh. I, oh my gosh, this is so cool. <laughs> I mean, this is really something it's else. So high up, I actually see it like five feet up. And it's, it's gone. <laughs> All right, we're gonna pry ourselves away from this here and we're gonna actually dive like we said we were going to. We're honestly tempted to just chase these things around all night. It's just wild, it's so cool. But if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to let me know down below and uh, let's get moving. Hi buddy. Hi. Is that snap? <laughs> <laughs> look at him. Whoa, 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 whoa guys. Look, look, look right there. There's an alligator right there, almost under the canoe. That's crazy. I didn't even see him there until we got up real close. Woo! And we gotta go in that water now. Alright guys, we just arrived at the place we're gonna suit up. We're gonna, oh my gosh, I almost went for a swim right there. We're gonna suit up right there and then dive right out here. It is now or never. <laughs> we're parked, tied off, and we got some of our gear out right here. Here we go with the wetsuit. Wetsuit's kinda cold. Oh, we got about five minutes our time until we are getting in that water with those gators and even spookier for me those beavers I don't know I don't normally see beavers that's that's a little odd I don't I don't know how to predict their behavior but hopefully they like scuba divers because uh, they're about to see one <laughs> wait <laughs> help me oh, there, you go. there we go <laughs> Okay, so I have a theory. I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna work, but the beavers are kind of spooky to me So I'm not gonna strap this strap right here And I'm just gonna go out in the water with my tail hanging down like that right there and every once in a while I'm gonna come to the surface I'm gonna stick my butt out of the water and I'm gonna slap and I think they're gonna think I'm one of them and they won't mess with me So <laughs> I hope that works <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <laughs> she got it. She did it. <laughs> She's ready. I'm ready. At least physically, but not mentally. <laughs> yeah, I know. Bree's ready to get in the water. These things are really heavy. Probably too heavy. 
<laughs> I know a lot of people are probably wondering, like, why on earth would you even go at night? It makes no difference underwater. Pretty much all the light you get down there is from the dive light anyway, whether it's daytime or nighttime. And honestly, coming out at night sometimes it's a little different. You see different wildlife. It's a lot of fun. Hope you guys are enjoying it. I don't know. This this feels like one of the craziest things I've ever done. Okay. <laughs> all right, we're about to go underwater. Let's do it. Are you ready, Bree? Yeah. <laughs> This is a massive osteoderm or body armor plate to an alligator. Now these things act as many little solar panels as well as armor underneath the skin. It's what makes up the ridges on the backs of the alligators. And that one is huge. That's why we were freaking out underwater. You don't normally see them that large. So this big piece here, this is actually a piece of a type of giant tortoise that we had here. So this is the shell. Now look at the thickness of that. These were massive tortoises that went extinct about 11,000 years ago. They were up to five to 600 pounds each. They were massive. And we're gonna find a lot more cool fossils to these guys here in a second. So this is a little piece of a turtle shell here and the center pieces of the turtle shell would be right here and these are the long bands that make up the dome that come down it's broken right along that edge there but it's pretty i like the ones that have all the cool little detail and texture on them like that Here we have the very first osteoderm to a giant tortoise of the day. So if you imagine these things sometimes tucking in their shells for protection, on their arms they would have these all over that helped to protect them. So we have two similar shaped things here, but very different. That is a piece of a rib bone to a manatee. And you can identify manatee because the bones are very solid all the way through. And this is a fragment of an equus horse tooth right here. So very damaged, crushed up, but it is a piece of a pretty large horse tooth. <laughs> All right, 
right, so we have these two very different things here. Now this one is a piece of a turtle shell. It's the little neurals that go down the center of the shell. So that's what they look like on the other side. And then this one is an astragalus bone to a white-tailed deer. So it's uh, an ankle bone in us, but it's kind of up the leg a little bit more on these guys. But this is a very common bone because it's very tough. It holds together pretty well. <laughs> This is a beautiful bone that Bree got right here. This is a metapodial to a tapir, Tapirus virulensis. This particular species went extinct around 11,700 years ago or so, and it is absolutely beautiful condition. Now there are some tapirs that are still alive down in South America. Uh, they're giant pig-like animals that are more closely related to like rhinos and horses. So they belong to a class of animals called parasodactyls, which means they have an odd number of toes. So this is the center one like that, and they would have had two little ones on the sides. And that's a little tooth to an alligator. A nice little reminder that they're probably still down here with us as we die. <laughs> but it's a nice little tooth. Good condition, decent little color. Now, I'm not so sure on this bone. Uh, Brie found this one, and at first I thought it was some type of proboscidean or like mammoth or mastodon foot bone. I'm still kind of leaning towards that but it doesn't match uh, a lot of the bones that I'm familiar with. So a little bit of a mystery. It's kind of fun to have stuff that we have to look up and try uh, to figure out even after all these years of doing this. And here we have a few of these. You guys remember what these things are? They are the little armor plates for the giant tortoises on their legs when they tuck in the shell. So giant one right there. And they come in a lot of different shapes and sizes. One of the diagnostic characteristics is that little groove that runs all the way around. And that's kind of what was embedded in the skin this direction and then what was exposed right up there. And they also come in like little spur hook shapes right there too. So this little piece right here, a little fragmented, broken up, beaten up, but it is the skull cap to a manatee. So it took me a while when I first started finding these to figure out what they were, but that is indeed what it is. Brie found this beautiful osteoderm to the edge of the shell of a glyptodont. Now, glyptodonts were these crazy giant armadillo like animals that had a shell more like a tortoise but were absolutely massive, around 1,200 pounds, the size of a Volkswagen. Uh, I really, really, really have a thing for these animals. Just wild, I wish I could see them still alive. Right beside that, I found this tooth right here. This is a horse molar in fantastic condition. This is the modern Equus genus horse, so not like a three-toed horse that we find in some of the sites in Florida. And uh, this is where these things originally came from. They originated here, then they went extinct around 10,000 years ago and were reintroduced by humans. Oh. 
look at that. This is a cool little bone right here. This is the end of a metapodial bone to a camelid, Hemiakinia or Paleolama. Now, the cool thing about this is this bone that I showed you guys earlier, the tapir bone, look at the similarities here. This bone right here is actually the fusion of two bones like this. So this is from a parasodactyl, this is an artiodactyl, and sometime in the history of these artiodactyls, a lot of the bones started to fuse together. And you can see the remnants of that. Look at that line right there, and even the two separate chambers right there from that bone. So that's so cool, that's what makes these a lot of fun to find. This is a beautiful little fossil right here. This is an astragalus bone from a tapir in great condition that Bree found. So it's similar to that bone right there from the white-tailed deer that I found earlier, but it is a little bit different because these belong to a group of animals called parasodactyls, whereas deer are artiodactyls along with the camels and all that. So it's important to understand the difference between the certain classifications of animals so you can ID the bones and all the teeth. And here's a little better look at these beautiful little fossils. Do you guys remember what they are? They are the center parts of the turtle shells, the little neural pieces that go down the center of the shell. This isn't a match, but that's kind of what they would look like. This is a beautiful little fossil right here. It's a body armor plate or osteoderm to a giant armadillo-like animal called Homocena septentrionalis. So they lived until about the end of the Pleistocene and then went extinct. But if you imagine a modern armadillo that's just way, way, way larger, five to 600 pounds, that's about what these guys looked like. Oh, I'm shivering right now. We just swapped out the batteries in our dive lights. We're gonna go back down for the remainder of this tank now, but if you guys have enjoyed this video so far, hit that thumbs up button. And if you guys would like to own fossils of your own, we just updated the shop with tons of cool new specimens there. So if you wanna help to support the creation of new videos like this and crazy adventures, yeah, you can do so through that uh, link down in the description. Uh, let's get back in the water. This water is freezing, freezing cold. <laughs> Here we go, guys, let's go. This is a beautiful little camelid molar right here. Look at the beautiful condition on that thing. So it goes to that bone that I was showing you earlier. This is most likely the same animal right here, same type of animal. Here's a good close-up of that molar right there. That's a molar to the tapir, Tapirus virulensis, just like that bone that I showed you guys earlier. So super cool, we're getting multiple fossils to a lot of different animals now.
this little fragment right here. This is a piece of a tooth to the American Mastodon. And that right there on this edge here is enamel. This is a little bit more complete tooth and you can see that enamel all on the outside there. It's always a lot of fun finding jaw sections with teeth still in them. Look at the mineralization on that bone, that shine right there. Absolutely beautiful. So we have three teeth and it's white tail deer on this one here. Now you see how worn down that tooth is almost all the way past the enamel. This was a very old, old animal and it's pretty cool. So this was the uh, ankle bone or the astragalus to a white tailed deer that I showed you guys earlier. So we got multiple fossils from this species now as well. See all these lines and the kind of flakiness to it? This is a tiny fragment to a tusk to a mammoth or a mastodon. So this is actually fossilized ivory right here. And um, normally on the cross sections, you can see a kind of cross hatching pattern, but this piece is a little too worn down on the edges to show you that. But yep, tiny little piece of a mammoth or a mastodon tusk. These two fossils right here are pretty cool. They're separated by a lot of different time. This is Eocene in age, one of the oldest fossils you can find in Florida, around 35 million years old or so, whereas this is Pleistocene, like most of this other stuff, geologically relatively recent. Now, this is a manatee tooth. This is a shark tooth. What do these things have in common? Both of these animals continuously replace their teeth throughout their lifetimes. That's super common in sharks and that is very, very rare in mammals. This is a beautiful little fossil that Bree found right here. Now this is a juvenile molar. It looks big, but this is to a very young animal. It was a mammoth. This is a little mammoth tooth. That's the chewing surface where the tooth was just erupting and starting to get worn down from use there. It's missing a little bit on this side, so it would have been a little bit longer, maybe like that or so. It's a beautiful little tooth. Now, when I say mammoth, are you picturing the really hairy one that you see all over um, movies and all that? Not quite. This was a Colombian mammoth that probably was a bit less hairy, but it is the predominant type that we had here in Florida in the Pleistocene. So this piece right here, they always look like peace signs to me. It's a turtle intoplasteron. So this is kind of right at the chest of the turtle on the underneath of the shell. It's nice condition, good mineralization, always fun to find those. Look at that huge piece of 
fossilized antler to a white-tailed deer there. So this is actually part of like the skull right here. That's the antler. Beautiful. And then Bree found a tiny molar also to a white-tailed deer right beside it. So two fossils, same type of animal, right next to each other. That's awesome. So this little piece right here is a nuchal to a turtle. So it's another part of the shell. And this is kind of where the head would come out. So this is on the back of the neck of the turtle and it would tuck into a shell just like that. So those are always super cool to find and that's quite a large one actually. This is gonna be a little tricky to see because of this brown stuff kind of encrusted all around it, but this is a mouth plate to a porcupine fish. Now, this is the same age as that uh, sea urchin fossil and that shark tooth from earlier. These erode out of the limestone uh, in the bottom of the rivers here. So this is a marine fossil right here to a porcupine fish. This is a super cool fossil right here. It's a molar to a giant beaver from the genus Castoroides that we had here in the Pleistocene. So whereas modern beavers, such as what this skull came from, these things can be up to about 70, 80 pounds or so. This guy, if I take this, this is the lower jaw. If I take this tooth out and show you the size comparison, you will be able to see how much bigger these beavers here were in comparison to modern beavers. We're talking about a giant beaver, the size of a black bear, potentially 220 pounds or more, way scarier than modern beavers. I'm glad these are the guys in the river right here with me rather than these guys because I wouldn't be diving. <laughs> and also, if you look kind of right here where that last tooth comes down and goes around and compare it to this from a giant beaver here, I mean, yeah, we're talking about very, very vastly different sized animals there and even the remnants of that huge incisor tooth that would have come up out that way just like this one. It's crazy, crazy animals. So this bone here, do you guys remember what that one is? Come on, I just told you. Just like this one here, same thing. Camelid metapodials. Really rare to find two in one day because they're not the most common bones. That's pretty cool. That's a much smaller one than that one. <laughs> All right, we have a little canine tooth to the tapir, tapirus viroensis right here. Really nice condition on it, good enamel. And that's a pretty decent little find. And this little toe bone is a phalanx to a camelid. So just like that bone earlier that I keep showing you guys, 
it goes to the same type of animal and we just have one bone missing doesn't go like that there would have been one in the middle here that we did not find This cool little bone right here is a phalanx or toe bone to a horse. So we would have had one more bone here and then we would have had the cool big giant round horse hoof core coming off of that. We got this cool little osteoderm or body armor plate to Holmesina, the type of giant armadillo-like animal that we talked about earlier. So that's a really nice find. And I actually just saw an armadillo right by my steps. And if you look here, you can see all those bands right there of flex osteoderms. Now, on modern armadillos, this is what those osteoderms look like. And you can see the similarity on these things. The difference, one of the big differences, look at the thickness. These guys were heavily, heavily armored to protect from things like saber cats and dire wolves that were roaming around at the same time. Bree found this little rock down there and it's covered with beautiful druzy quartz crystals all over it. Can you guys see that sparkling? Just as we were getting ready to leave, I looked over and I saw that Brie had this beautiful camelid molar. Beautiful condition. We still got to clean it up a little bit better, but that's a giant right there. Holy cow. It is cold down there. It is cold up here. <laughs> that's it for the diving. We're going to dry off really good. Start heading back and probably chase down some more of those mini tornado looking things. Oh, once we get warmer, that is. Oh my goodness, I'm done. I'm done with the water. <laughs> we just paddled up in a spring right here. Look at that. Whoa. Oh, you guys hear the owl back there? <laughs> oh, it's deep down there. Look at that. There's a rock wall right there and there's a cave or something. That's cool. Well, look at all that flowing out right there. That's awesome. It is flowing right there. Guys, look at that owl right there. We just saw him fly out and I think he tried to catch a bat. Here he goes. I hear coyotes off in the distance. You hear that? Not too far away. That one could form into a monster. Come on, baby. Oh. It's pretty cool, bats flying through these things. Come on! Do it! Is it gonna do it? I, I don't know what to... Oh, it's forming. <gasps> oh it's doing God. it. It's doing it. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh! Oh my God! Where's it going? Where's it going? At least 20 feet up. Oh, you can see it that, f that far? Oh my gosh! I just looked out the camera. It's monstrous. Are you kidding me? This is... I could do this all... I could literally just do this all night. I mean, I've... Whoa. Where'd it go? It's gone. It's gone. Where did that come from? <laughs> this is unreal! This is not real! This is not real, Bree. This is oh this God. is not real. What is this? It's gonna hit us. Bree. What? It's gone. It's gone. Oh, there's a new one. Oh, 
Whoa, 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 it's getting crazy out here. Guys, what is happening right now? I'm sorry if I'm shaking the camera, I'm flipping out. <laughs> wow. Oh, Betty. Oh. Looks like there's one getting ready right there. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's got like a little, oh. <gasps> oh my goodness. It's huge. Oh my gosh. It goes so high, oh my gosh. What? I, I think there are more forming too. Where are they? It's getting so foggy because it's getting so unbelievably cold. I don't know what's happening. Whoa, 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 look right here. Oh, What the I heck? Can't see the top of it. No. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm gonna reach out and touch it. I wanna touch it. I can't touch it. You killed it. Oh. oh, it's warm. Is it? It's warm. It is the warm air rising. Warm. It's so cold out right now. Whoa, it was so warm to the touch. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I mean, I knew it was probably hot air coming off the surface of the water, but I didn't expect it to be that warm. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, I think we're going to cut it off. No! Oh, look at that! Oh my <laughs> gosh! What? It is gone. It's huge! It's huge! Look at this thing. Look up, look up, look up. What? Are you kidding? Look at it go. It's spinning so fast. That is crazy. I am <laughs> mind blown. Whoa. Keep filming. I'm filming. This is crazy. All right, where is it at, Bree? It's right here. It's massive. That is crazy. That, is that looks messed up. I've never seen anything like that before. This one has lasted the longest out of all of them. Like it is lasting a long time. Whoa, it's getting stronger too. Look at this. <gasps> oh my Whoa. gosh. Whoa. What the heck? I got paddle again. Yeah. I hurry. It's, it keeps moving. We're chasing it. <laughs> okay. Go, go, go. I wonder if I can get really close and shine a light right up, like, like right up the I bet you of it. could. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk it. Risk Gotta it. Risk it for the shot. Risk it for the biscuit. Okay, yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What the oh, heck? I'm going in. I'm going in. You're go <laughs> you got him. <Wow. laughs> Is it going to come back? We're going to find out. Wow. That's one of the coolest things I've ever seen in my whole entire life right there. Uh -huh. I mean, for real, one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad we have video of that because that's... That, that was so cool. <laughs> All right, it came right back. Like we disrupted it, but it came right back. I think the conditions are just perfect right now. I would just sit out here all night and film these things, guys, and chase them around. Oh, I think I'm gonna kill a little one right here. No! Where's the big one at? Uh, I don't know. Oh, oh it's gosh. back there! It's <laughs> back there! Oh, a bat's flying. Oh my it. god. That oh, wow. is messed up. I don't get it. I don't get how that's a real thing happening right now in front of my face. <laughs> I'm gonna zoom in on it. That is crazy. Yeah, that, that's right. It just spun around it. <laughs> <laughs> what this the is heck? the one right now, though. Holy yeah. cow. 
Whoa. Oh my god. What the yeah, heck? These bats are having Look a at that thing. Ah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Look at this. Oh guys. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, what? We'll try to get right beside it. <laughs> that is so cool. Where'd it go? Where'd it's it go? gone. You killed it. <laughs> it's okay. It'll be reborn now. <laughs> reborn. <laughs> but I, I swear, this feels like mini tornado chasing where it's nonstop action and I don't have to worry about dying. So. Pretty cool. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we got the first bit of sunrise right there. Look at those beautiful colors. Hopefully this fog is gonna light up with that beautiful golden color here soon. It's too you hear that? It's too early for the turkeys. They're not doing it. They're going back to roost over there. <laughs> it's officially bright enough to film without a flashlight, but we can still see the fog better with the light. Um, not seeing any of the giant vortex things like we were seeing an hour ago, but still worth it for the, the sunrise right here. Oh, we got it. we got rotation and it's hard to see the tube, but there it is. <laughs> the little funnel was there for a second. It is still happening. Oh, another one forming. Is there? Oh yeah. A big one. Come on, baby. Come on, you can do it. It's trying, they're trying. Oh, they're oh, oh my gosh, Look. it's still here. <laughs> oh, he almost oh, got, got so. One. Oh, we did get it. We got him. Nice. There's your breakfast, sir, or part of it. Oh, there's a big boy over there. Bunch of little ones around it. Oh, guys, this was so worth it waiting for the sunrise. Look at that. Oh, yeah, right there. A bunch of them there. Oh, that's a great one. Do you see that one, Bree? Mm -hmm. That's a great one. That was beautiful. Yep. It's kind of cool after uh, all night chasing them around, being able to see what they look like in the daylight. I've actually never seen this before. Not in the light. That's a great one right there. Look at that thing. Ooh, that one just got way better while I was filming. Look at that, all the way up there. And gone. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this adventure. We, we're done. We need to go get some sleep and uh, get ready for the next adventure. But if you guys enjoyed this, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.